What's going on guys, Rob from Heroes Avenue. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. Hope you guys were able to check out some of the great movies that came out this past holiday weekend. I know there were lots, but hopefully at least you got to check out Aquaman because that's what we're talking about today. This is a follow-up video to my domestic box office predictions that I made five or six days ago. And I was wrong in my prediction, but the cool thing is some of you guys might be right. I'll talk about that in just a second. Now I projected this movie would make $75 million over the three-day weekend. But I was wrong in that prediction. It looked like it made $67.4 million over the three days. But I didn't take into account my prediction. I didn't take into account purposefully the early Amazon Prime screenings. Now, if you do take into account those early Amazon Prime screenings, it looks like it made around $83 million uh, over the three days. Uh, so, again, I'm not taking those into account. So I was wrong in my prediction. But the cool thing is this movie has already made... Uh, 106 million in domestic receipts if you account for the Amazon Prime screenings, the uh, Christmas Eve revenue, the the um, Christmas Day revenue. Uh, so it looks like it made 106 million over the holiday weekend, and that is great. Now, while that small uh, 67.4 million isn't the biggest for the DC universe, if you look at all of the factors and the whole picture, uh, you, this movie is actually doing really well because it is killing it internationally. And it is already grossed 550 plus million dollars at uh, the international box office. And according to Forbes, uh, the writer here at Forbes, Mark Hughes, it looks like he's projecting that it will actually even hit a billion dollars at the box office. That's um, that, because uh, the way it's going right now, it has no uh, signs of slowing down. And he's projecting that it's going to make a billion dollars. And that is really incredible for this movie. Not many uh, even would have thought that that number would be uh, possible for this character who's been ridiculed in pop culture has been the butt of many jokes but that actually might be the case and two of you guys who commented on that previous video actually uh, might be correct and that's why i stated you guys might be correct because that's what uh, this person at forbes is projecting so uh, mark zolo says i say it now and i said it before this movie will break one billion dollars mark my words he said that five days ago and a lot of comments below this comment just made fun of him for this prediction alone. And uh, uh, another one of you guys, official Filmalian says, I think Aquaman is going to earn 100 or 1 billion at the global box office. And he said that again five days ago. So you two guys, uh, you know, were, were possibly correct in this. And you guys definitely had lofty aspirations for this movie, as we did all, but I never thought it would get to a billion. So this is really exciting news. And of course, this is assuming that something uh, out of the ordinary doesn't happen or this movie all, all of a sudden takes a downturn. It looks like positive word of mouth for this movie and the, the strong international box office for this movie is going to possibly carry it to a billion dollars and that is really incredible. You know the funny thing is this movie is going up against some stiff competition in Mary Poppins and Bumblebee, Welcome to Marwin, but this movie is topping them all. I remember this movie or I'm sorry I remember when uh, Jason Momoa was cast I, had, I didn't know anything about Aquaman other than the common perception that uh, he's a kind of a character who's kind of a joke uh, in the eyes of many people. That's, that's, all, that's the only thing I really knew of him. But when Zack Snyder casted uh, Jason Momoa for Aquaman, I immediately got excited because Jason Momoa is someone I saw in Game of Thrones. He has this presence about him. He has a charisma. And I thought, man, this guy's a badass, but he's going to be playing Aquaman, so I better do my research. So I uh, immediately... Got on the New 52 run. Aquaman almost completed the whole New 52. I'm almost complete with it, or I'm almost finished with the whole thing. I read the whole New 52 of Justice League, and my whole perception is is completely flipped for this character. And I, then I thought, man, Jason Momoa is the perfect guy to play this. He's the perfect guy to change other people's perceptions of Aquaman because that's what I wanted people, after reading those comics, and I'm sure all of you guys who are longtime Aquaman fans felt the same way. You want everyone to feel like how you feel about this character because this guy's a badass. And I'm so glad that this movie is doing inc this well after the box office because it, it, it's going to almost guarantee a sequel for Aquaman 2. And although James Wan uh, has stated that he, for the first time in his career, he's not sure what he wants to do next. I think most of us are hoping James Wan does return for a sequel for this movie uh, because he, he's the one who started this universe. And I'd like to see his vision uh, go forward from here. Uh, because a lot of people think that without James Wan, this movie would have tanked. Um, so uh, I'm really excited. I want to uh, first shout out you guys who predicted the $1 billion. Uh, we'll see if you guys are correct, and we're going to be following this for sure. But I want to know from you guys in the comments right now, 
Do you think Aquaman is going to hit that $1 billion mark or do you think it will fall short of that? Let me know in the comments down below. Like this video if you can, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.